the Reds are reportedly on the verge of a Benjamin Pavard deal. It is alleged that the Premier League side is moving fast and may even be able to complete everything soon. As Calcio Mercato Web reported via Paisley Gates, Liverpool could soon make a deal for Benjamin Pavard and the club already has a winning bid for the player. The 27-year-old has been working with Bayern Munich for four seasons and has helped the German side win the Bundesliga title in every campaign he took part in. He was still a regular in their first team in 2022-2023. He has played 30 times in the league and has managed the best goal contribution total since his debut at the club. He has scored four goals and an assist in 30 games this season. He is now a member of the Bayern club and has played on a total of 111 senior flying trips during his time there. As the player is still impressive at the top of the Bundesliga, his services have sparked interest from elsewhere. Most importantly, Premier League side Liverpool is following the situation. A recent report suggested that Pavard himself was open to crossing into England. The Reds stand out, with Chelsea and Manchester City all listed as potential landing spots for the defender. However, the Anfield outfit seems to be leading the way for the actress. And even a soon deal can be made. According to a report by Calcio Mercato Web via Paisley Gates, Liverpool have a win offer ready to bring Pavard to the club. FSG is apparently capable of meeting the demands of Bayern Munich and the player himself. So a deal can happen very quickly. There is no talk of any discussion on personal terms yet. But the Reds owners seem to have an offer ready to go. Bayern may be happy to accept that. It's clear that Pavard still has the ability to produce goods at the highest level, so a deal could certainly benefit Liverpool. During a recent international match for France, football journalist Josh Bunting described a goal from the defender as stunning and top class. He added that this is what the Bayern Munich man can do. He has the ability to play both as a right-back and a centre-back. So it can be assumed that Trent Alexander-Arnold would be a perfect fit to enter the hybrid right-back role that is needed if he continues to progress in the new system we saw towards the end of last season. If Klopp uses Arnold more as a midfielder, it could be a perfect match. Pavard's pass accuracy and defensive contribution are quite high. If Pavard is purchased, a transfer will result in two significant boosts. Both the midfield rotation will gain depth and an excellent right-back will be purchased. The fact that the French star comes from a winning team will bring the winner feature, which will add extra to Liverpool. Pavard is only 27 years old and still has time to stay high. The Reds want to sign Jeremy Doku. Liverpool are in a position to get some much-needed reinforcements this summer after a tough campaign last season and now a new update on a potential transfer target has surfaced. Ren Winger could be Liverpool's dream heir to Mohamed Salah. Liverpool are interested in signing Ren Belgian attacker Jeremy Doku in the summer transfer window, according to a new report. The 21-year-old has been seen as a potential target for the Reds in the past. According to the report, the Reds remain interested in the player they nearly signed in 2017 and despite not being a consistent striker, the player has become an attractive prospect based on his dribbling expertise. But a move never materialized over the years as he built an impressive career for himself. Currently traded in Ren, Doku has become a key player for the League One team. He scored six goals and recorded two assists in the league last season. The winger has caught the attention of Belgium since making his debut. He aired the net twice in 14 games and is probably seen as a long-term start as he gets older. While Liverpool want to have a busy summer in the transfer market, their interest in Doku seems not to have died in the water yet. Texture is a big talent that could have a big future in the game. Journalist Robin Berner has described him as disruptive in the past. So it's exciting to see that in so many ways it's linked to his move to Anfield. The Merseyside Giants had no struggles in scoring goals and posing a deadly threat of attack against any opponent of any quality. Only Manchester City and Arsenal have scored more goals than Liverpool in their most recent Premier League campaign. Having said that, it wouldn't be the worst idea to get more offensive options that could provide variety in the final third. With Mohamed Salah's contract expiring in 2025, there is an opportunity to bring in an understudy to develop and nurture on the right flank who can learn the ropes from the Egyptian superstar this summer.
Egyptian, one of the most indispensable players of the club, managed to score 186 goals in 306 matches in Liverpool. But Salah is 31 years old and there is increasing interest from the Saudi Arabian League. Also, Salah's lack of a clear air makes Doku more valuable. The Ren star may have to warm up the bench most weeks, but he can learn a lot from his role model, Salah. Hailed as a diamond in the rough by Kevin De Bruyne, Doku ranks in the top 5% of his positional peers in the top 5 European leagues in non-penalty goals, shot creations, progressive carries, progressive passes received and successful picks, according to FBREF. The £14 million winger offers slightly different strengths than Liverpool's talisman. He outperforms his positional peer on a number of traits last season, including his 90-minute goal creations, his 90-minute goal-scoring actions, and his takeoff success rate. This shows that he offers a more selfless approach to offensive opportunities and is more confident in challenging opponents. It is of course inconceivable that Klopp would sacrifice the star man who remained loyal to Anfield and provided so many moments of magic. But the purchase of Doku could give the Liverpool boss the option to rotate while competing in multiple competitions, which can be deployed in the final stages of games. Doku is definitely a must-watch for Liverpool and if the club's hierarchy can get the 21-year-old a good deal this summer, it could be a great opportunity to add a little more depth to the forward line ahead of next season. Liverpool midfielder transfer target left the stadium on crutches after a Euro U21 knee injury. Liverpool's summer transfer target Manicone left the stadium on crutches Wednesday night after being injured in France's 4-1 win over Switzerland at the U21 European Championship. The 22-year-old maestro became one of the best players in the tournament and Les Blue were among the favourites to lift the trophy alongside Lee Carsley's England. Kone was man of the match in France's 2-1 win over Italy in the Group D opening, and they have since gone on to win all of their opening three games. But Kone's tournament now appears to be over after he was forced to leave with a knee injury in Wednesday's knockdown of Switzerland. Former Bournemouth transfer target Enzo Lafie has replaced Kone, but there are fears the Gladbach man could be set on the sidelines for a long time. The sight of Kone on crutches raised concerns that he was seriously injured. This could impress Liverpool, who are considering Kone on their list of potential midfield targets in the summer transfer window. Liverpool are believed to be holding talks with Kone's representatives ahead of the summer transfer. The Reds are also closely tied to French teammate Kefren Thuram, who started the game before Kone was kicked out at the 70th minute. Jurgen Klopp's side has not yet formalised their interest in an approach, but that could happen yet after the competition is complete. Manakone's injury may have prevented his possible transfer to Liverpool.